Welcome back. Now, I'm going to say something I have never said in the six years I've been anchoring new to the street. Bigfoot is back in the house. I said he was here the first time because he was, but he's back. Now, when you hear the words Bigfoot or Sasquatch, what comes to mind? For me, it's an elusive bear-like creature, six, seven to nine feet tall with human-like features. That's what I think. That's what I envision when I hear Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Now, for a better perspective, let's go searching for Bigfoot, so to speak, with Tom Biscardi. He's the CEO of Bigfoot Project Investments. He's joined by his son, TJ Biscardi, and their legal counsel, Blair Kruger. Gentlemen, welcome to New to the Straight. Good to be back. It's our pleasure having you. Let's get right to it, Tom. For people who are tuning in for the first time who might not be familiar, let's talk about searching for Bigfoot, what you guys do, what you're all about. Well, we're the only real Bigfoot organization that have boots on the ground nine months out of the year, actively looking, searching, and hopefully one day bringing one back. You have encountered the creature down the line with you and Tom. What was your first encounter with the creature like? That's gone back almost 50 years ago, believe it or not. Can't believe it. Okay, almost 50 years ago next month. I was uh, no more than 12 feet away from one, but that was the first one and the one that will stick in my mind till the day I die. So you're on the border of Oklahoma and Texas. What did you see? These uh, uh, sounds, these screams in the middle of the night, blood curdling screams, and some of the neophytes in the industry were scared to death because they didn't know if we were going to get plummeted with stones and rocks and which some of them were. And then we did get a few glimpses of two different creatures while we were out. Tom, what did you get out of being involved with this with your dad? There's a few generations of Biscardi's doing this. What's it like for you? Well, I get to continue on with uh, what my father started and um, get the science of curiosity of science to go out and figure out where this creature is and actually try to capture him and hopefully pass it on to my son. What goes through your mind as you're searching for Bigfoot? Uh, one thing, uh, when am I going to capture him? When I do see him, how am I going to do it? And um, what are we going to do with him? When people hear the word Bigfoot or Sasquatch, either you're a believer or you're not a believer. Who am I to judge? Mm -hmm. You know, I would never judge anybody on anything. It's the, the best comparison is like religion. A lot of people want to you know, pray to an invisible man in the sky. Who am I to say that sure. it exists or doesn't exist? Blair, your involvement with searching for Bigfoot, you are the legal counsel for them. What has made you attracted to Mr. Biscardi and searching for Bigfoot? What do you get out of this? Obviously, lawyers have to disclose to the public what's going on with a publicly traded stock like Bigfoot. And irrespective of whether or not you believe in Bigfoot, there are a lot of assets that are associated with the company that are very exciting for investors. Um, there's both fictional and documentary film projects and properties uh, that are already uh, in play. Um, there are, you know, obviously merchandising opportunities. There are um, also opportunities for Bigfoot museums. Uh, the company is currently negotiating with some very uh, large uh, uh, retail uh, uh, hospitality properties. Um, and and uh, so right now there's a lot going on here. This company capitalizes on the opportunity of the mythology and the actual reality of Bigfoot. So there's both science and there's this mythology that um, is potentially something that can be applied in different uh, movie themes and, and the like. Now, Tom, we're not only talking about Bigfoot that exists solely in the United States. How many creatures are there around the world and the different countries that they're in? And they're called different things depending on what part of the world you're in. There isn't just one. There's about 8,000 in North America alone known by different names. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Bushmen, the forest people. It goes on and on and on, okay? And of course, they've got them in Russia. They've got them in, in uh, uh, Siberia. They've got them all over. There's a land bridge linking Siberia, Ken, to the Yukon, where I first, when I first started off, thought this was the derivative of the Yeti because it's only 26 miles and the natives used to travel that land bridge just like these creatures did and of course inhabit the United States. So let's talk about the worldwide phenomenon that Bigfoot is now. Why do you, each one of you, Tom, why do you think it's so big around the world? Well, not only because there's been sightings everywhere, that people um, 
want to believe. They want to understand why hasn't science jumped on board to say, hey, what you've seen is real. And what do you get personally mm -hmm. out of searching for this creature all the time? I get a pure enjoyment of getting out in the woods and helping prove that science is wrong because we know what we've seen. Blair, what do you get out of it? Well, you know, I have never been on a Bigfoot search, but I've met a lot of these Bigfoot hunters, not just the Piscardis, but other people that are very knowledgeable about it. And I, I believe them. I mean, on a, on a human level, I, I think that they're telling the truth. So when we talk about revenue streams for uh, searching for Bigfoot and Bigfoot project investments, we're talking about merchandising, which includes what type of products? Um, everything from apparel to toys, um, basically even home furnishings. Uh, there are a variety of different ways that you can apply the, the, the Our big section of movies. Which, you know, we're, I'm very proud of that. We've authored eight of them, in which three of them were entered into the film festivals, Pocono Mountains Film Festival, as a matter of fact, and one best documentary. The thing I like the most about you guys is. I can smell and taste the passion that you guys have for the creature. And I talk to a lot of people, I talk to a lot of companies, and sometimes the passion is there, sometimes you have to pull it out of them. But with you guys, it's there. You guys walk in the room, you walk in the room, it's like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> and that's why we want to encourage you people to come out with us. I want to come out, I want to come out. We want to do a whole show, a whole half hour with you guys. The invitation is there, my friend. Thank you very much. Nice to Tom Biscardi, TJ, Blair Kruger, thanks for joining us here on New to the Street. Thank, Thank you. If you want to learn more about Bigfoot, you can visit searchingforbigfoot.com or newtothestreet.com. Up next, Jane King and a company with what they say is a healthy alternative to nighttime snacking. She has the tasty details when we come back. <laughs>